Hey, what's happening guys? Um, as you know, I was a shot show this year, as usual, and I have the chance to cheat each other a little bit for the guys at the um, Strike Industry booth. And we were talking about a little bit about their product, and they, um, I'm on them. They show me the new version of the J-Camp, um, the new version of the W2, which is all, right now is also available for the AK, the previous one, the J-Comp was only 5.6 at 3.08 compatible. Um, so far it has a pretty good success as far device. But as usual, the guys at Strike Industries, they listen to their customer feedback. And as you can see, it's a really nice product already. Really well made, really nice uh, finishing, no tool marks or anything, really nice. Um, I'm assuming it's anodized, I'm not sure about what kind of finishing they use, for it, but a really nice looking device. It can be pinned if you want to in it on a, in a barrel, if you short the barrel, short the barrel, or you can use a classical AK detent notch right over here. And um, the previous model has this one, has two chambers that uh, increase uh, the recoil management right over here on the side. I don't want to use the, sorry, but I want to use the right terminology. <laughs> and two uh, hybrid flush either um, compensa compensator grooves right over here. Uh, that was the previous feature that we maintained on this one. The new features actually, the two new ports on the top that help with the muzzle rise uh, compensations. So that being said, you have pretty much an hybrid between a, a muzzle brake and a compensator, clearly, which is a good thing. You know, some some brake, some muzzle brakes or some compensator are pretty much uh, they only can do pretty much either of the two functions. And um, I, I like it. I mean, it's it's really nice design, indeed. And I can't wait to test it. Um, it's really light too. It's like 3.6 ounces. The length is 2.55 inches, and um, of course the thread is 14 and one left hand thread because it's okay, Russian, of course. And um, I'd say pretty much. Of course, it's based on, as you know, on the Type 89 uh, um, Japanese assault rifle. And, uh, and they sold a bunch of these one already, but I like the fact that they had these two, the new features, and also the fact that they make one for the AK finally. And um, it's also compatible, before I forget, with oppressor and fair front concussion reduction devices, which is a cool thing. And uh, like I said, it's, uh, installation is very easy. I mean, you, you know that, guys. You pretty much gotta go uh, on the right, uh, clockwise. And then, at a certain point, let me put the rifle down. At a certain point, you might require to use a screwdriver or something to, in order to push down this pin over here. The detent notch, sorry, right over here. At a certain point, you're gonna feel it, then it won't go any further. Okay, it's actually a good thing. Uh, because you're gonna notice that if you go back up once, the logo is of course gonna be up. And it's actually pretty firm in place. I like the fact also it has two flat surface like a regular um, old school AR 15 brake or whatever you wanna call it, cage, whatever. It's a good thing because if you wanna, um, like I said, if you need to put in a regular threader barrel that you shorten, you can just, you know, torque it down very easily. And. Um, that's it. I mean, as you can see, I don't think there's anything else to say about it, other than test it, of course. It looks really good on the on a modern, uh, updated AK like this one. I mean, it really looks really good. I would like to thank the guy Strike Industries. I apologize for the sound in the background. If I also um, mumble a little bit too much, I'm really tired. It's been a long day. I uh, wish you guys a good weekend and let me know if you need anything else you want to know anything else about uh, this device uh, for sure I'm gonna do a video I'm gonna give you a feedback about it and I'd like to thank you Strike Industries once again for let me review one other product okay you stay tuned and see you next time bye bye